Uh, Shalom from Jerusalem. This is Uriel, news from Jerusalem, Israel. Uh, what do you think about the Iran and the uh, so-called uh, developing or enriching uranium in Iran? Well, you know, from the heart, I think that um, there's no doubt about it that when uh, someone has uh, made a statement that he wishes to exterminate Israel off the map altogether, one's first reaction is, well, we better get in there early. But actually, after consideration and uh, listening to the uh, previous head of uh, Mossad, what he says is if we do sort of uh, cut off the tail, the tail will grow again. In other words, that if we destroy their nuclear um, uh, facilities. facilities, they've still got the brains and wherewithal to re-establish them. And I think this is the um, difficult Geneva. question. So I, I think I'd probably uh, not let the heart take over. I think uh, prefer to wait. I mean, Israel has to be absolutely at the ready, but I think one would hope that international sanctions will bite. But I think we're in a difficult situation. Has the uh, European Union or the uh, Western world, or for that matter, even the Obama administration, have they done anything to uh, really uh, stop uh, this uh, regime in Iran? Uh, I, I don't think so at all, because, I mean, it's almost in the genetics of the European nations to destroy the Jews. And just as with Hitler, where they were aware of what was happening and they didn't, uh, didn't do much until it affected them. I think this is the same thing. They, I think, unfortunately, they see this as another opportunity to get rid of the Jews. And I think that's part of the dilemma. I think we have to be strong. Fortunately, we've got the Aspora that is uh, quite aware of what's happening. But I think that the logistics are such that it will be difficult to strike at Iran at this moment in time. And I think we've got to be ready, but we've got to wait. We've got to so, so you're saying, so you're saying that uh, attacking Iran right now will not be a, a a good option? I don't think so, because I think the world is waiting for that in order again to climb into Israel. But the the, the current news uh, coming out of the uh, the world news is that the uh, uh, so-called Obama administration is trying to gather support from other nations to maybe uh, do a preemptive strike against Iran. Yes, well I must say on his past history, I doubt whether Obama would really do this because it seems to me his sympathy in actual fact is with the um, people opposed to uh, Israel. And I mean, where else would you treat a uh, head of a state like he treated Netanyahu, where he turned his back on him to go and have Do you believe Obama's a Muslim? His, his sympathies are with the Muslims, absolutely. Well, I mean, he sat in church for 20 years. I mean, I mean, he bows when he saw the Saudi chief. So I think it's just that the pressure of his advisors is keeping him. But I think his heart is not to help. Us. One final question: uh, What do you think about Abu Mazen uh, and the uh, so-called peace negotiations that are going to uh, uh, take place soon? Uh, uh, never, never work. I mean, uh, the Arabs. This is part of their philosophy, you know. Uh, do all the uh, sort of preemptory uh, actions and all that, but in the hearts of hearts, no, we won't make peace with Israel. You want peace, we want peace, they don't want peace. No, no, no whatever's offered to them, you know, they won't take it. I mean, look what Arafat had. So, and we knew, we know what his sort of actions were. Uh, and this is the Muslims, you know, I think only the Israelis know how to deal with the Muslims. So, difficult, but uh, we've survived. And we will survive. I think David Hamelik says in the uh, in the book of Tehillim, he says, I am for peace and they are for war. Yes. Uh, the story continues. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. It's worse now because before we only had uh, international, particularly European anti-Semitism. Now we've got that allied to strong Arab militarism. And this is uh, what makes the situation difficult. And we can only hope, Ruch Hashem, that's like in all, uh, from 1948, Israel has survived. When I come here and I see the light rail, I see the Calatrava Bridge. What an amazing people. What an amazing country. This is Uriel, LTP, Independent News, Jerusalem, Israel. Shalom.